Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your grade 10 maths. Today in financial maths on your third video of financial maths, we are looking at foreign exchange rates. Okay, so without any waste of time, let's get into it. So one thing you know guys is that every country has its own currency, um, the money that they use to buy or to pay for services in that country. However, you should also know that since each and every country has its own currency, there are exceptions sometimes where countries, in other countries, um, foreign currency can be used. Right? For example, I think um, in Lesotho, Swaziland, South African currency can also um, be used. I'm not sure, even in Namibia, I'm not sure. I stand to be corrected, but normally this is not allowed unless if countries have, unless if countries have that um, agreement, okay? Unless if countries have that agreement. So now to put this to a broader scale, if you are an American or Nigerian coming to South Africa, as an American, you have to, exchange your dollars to local South African rand, our Mandelas, from your Benjamins. <laughs> and then if you are Nigerian, you have to convert your, you have to convert your, or you have to change your Nairas to our South African rand. Right, you have to change your Nairas to our South African rand. So this is how foreign exchange works. That in a country we want unity of currency we don't want to have different currencies roaming around the streets right so now something that you need to know about this foreign exchange is this if a country's currency is weak the cost of importing goods and services to from other countries into that country will be higher but let me make it local if our currency is weak the cost of importing goods and services to us will be higher. Okay. The cost of importing goods and services to us will be higher. So that means if our currency is weak, the price that we will pay for a product or a good or a service will be higher. That's what it means. Okay. It will be higher. Especially, remember, to import is to bring goods into the country. Okay. All right. So now, um. Sometime later this year, maybe or sometimes this year, not later, sometimes this year, uh, maybe in October or is it October or September? These were the these were the foreign exchange rates. One US dollar was fourteen comma four four South African rand. One Great British pound was twenty three point two one South African rand. One Indian rupee was I'm not sure. Do we say rupee or rupee? But please bear with me. I'm not that familiar with this. Um, is 0 0.209 za, and one Nigerian naira was equivalent to 0 0.011 za. So, when you look at these two guys, what it means is that here the dollar is stronger than the South African rand. The pound is stronger than the South African rand. <clears throat> now here, it means that the rand, South African rand, is stronger than the Indian rupee and the South African rand is stronger than the Nigerian Naira and this looks like it's way stronger right but not that bad right so now let's consider let's consider these items let's say if these items today this beggar as it is without chips and anything let's say it costs um and let's say it costs 30, I'm going to say 34 rent. Let's say it costs 34 rent, 99 cents. This bag, let's say it costs 540 rent. Okay. Let's say it costs 540 rent. So I will ask, what is the price of the two items? Perhaps let's say in USD and 
in i'm going to use nigerian dollar so in niger sorry nigerian naira okay in nigerian naira okay so what we're going to do is this what we are looking for is the dollar equivalence of this amount so we will call it x so for the beggar let's begin with the beggar for the beggar i'm looking at the dollar come on buddy looking at the at the dollar we will say dollar is unknown dollar equivalence of this is unknown and then south african czar which is 34 and 99 is equal to one dollar over what and um, we said one dollar was four is it 14 it's a uh, okay this was supposed to it's supposed to be 17 i never it cannot be 14 never <laughs> it was 14 a long time ago so 17 so it is 17,44 let's put it like that okay it is 17,44 okay so remember guys the currency that is in your numerator on the left must be the currency that is in your numerator on the right one in, that is in the denominator must be in the denominator of your right so basically the left is the current price and the right is the forex rate okay so this therefore means that price of um the price of the dollar is one dollar is 17 17 rands 44 cents multiplied by what did we say the price of the beggar was 34 rands 99 34 rands 99 okay so what is this this is let's see 34 and 99 divided by 17 rands 44 cents so what is this so the price of beggar is as things stand 2.01 dollars at two dollars and one cent okay it is the price of it is the price of the beggar now let's now refer to naira All right i think we used naira now let's refer to the naira um perhaps i should also yeah okay let me yeah let me see okay referring to the naira now referring to the naira with the naira we'll say x is equal to the price of this is um 17 rands 44 cents and it is um naira do you i think you call it like this ne? or like this i'm not sure guys please if you're nigerian please bear with me and then what is this um <clears throat> this is um one naira or naira wal va uh we said oops it is not the the beggar was 34 my mistake the beggar was 34 rands 44 cents all right the beggar was 34 rands 99 cents and obviously the rate um is not this it is 0 0.011 allow me to write it like this 0 0.011 okay allow me to write it like this 0 0.011 so this therefore means this is uh one naira over 0 0.011 multiplied by 34.99 so let's go 34.99 divided by 0 0.011 what is this a dollar costs and uh, this banner costs how many nairas it costs 3180.91 naira okay 3180.91 nairas okay this is the price of this beggar in naira nigerian naira okay in nigerian naira so guys you can do the very same thing you can do the very same thing with the bag okay you can do the very same thing with the bag all right you can do the very same thing with the bag okay you can do the very same thing with the bag okay so this is it this is all that you need i think i don't have to do the calculations for the bag you do the very same thing remember 
the left is the unknown currency uh, over the price of the item that you're looking at and the right will be the foreign exchange remember what is in your numerator on the left must be the currency that is a numerator on your left must be the currency that is a numerator on the right one that is a denominator on the left must be denominator on the right okay just like that okay or maybe let me give you something here <clears throat> um an example i'm gonna say example i'm gonna say a traveling bag cost two thousand seven hundred and fifteen ooh what am i doing um um i'm not sure how two thousand seven hundred and fifteen indian rupee guys i'm not sure how you symbolize your currency is it like this i hope so okay indian rupee okay mm -hmm. the traveling bag costs 2715 indian rupee how much does it cost in rent okay how much does it cost in rent so our solution we're gonna say we're looking for this in rent so it'll be x over indian rupee currently this then costs um 2715 indian rupee and then how much uh, what is the conversion rate between indian rupee and south african dollar we said um south african rent oh my we don't we're not choosing dollars eh? south african rent so we are saying um 0 0.0.209 0 .0 za gives you one indian rupee right so what is this x is 0 0.209 za over mm. over one indian rupee let me separate this shoo -shoo. Yeah, let me differentiate these guys. Okay. Multiplied by multiplied by two seven one five Indian RP. Alright, so what is this? Now here let's see. Zero point two zero nine times two seven one five. Okay. Now what price are we getting? So a bed that costs two thousand seven hundred and fifteen Indian rupees will cost 567.44 south african rent okay it will cost 567.44 south african rent do you guys see that so i i, I hope you guys saw how different this example was we have now we are calculating from a foreign currency to local currency do you see what we did it is slightly different with what we've been doing on and off, right? But basically, the math is still the same. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is how you will be calculating your foreign exchange. Of course, um, you will get it in your examinations. And I must be saying this, guys. You also got in grade nine. Okay, all right, guys. Um, with that being said, it's a wrap. We have come to the end of our lesson. And remember. If you would like to get in touch with us, please visit our website www.ramtasolutions.co.za. You can visit uh, on this website. At the top of our website, you will see all these icons. All these four represent your social media, especially these three represent our social media. Click on them and you will be directed to our social media platforms. And of course, you probably are watching this video on YouTube. Now, if you are watching on YouTube, Please subscribe, like, and share with friends and everyone that might be in need of this video. And finally, if you're looking for a tutor, you can select these two icons. They will be directed to WhatsApp or to email. Guys, please, if you are looking for a tutor, may it be your parents that are talking to us. Okay, may it be your parents that are talking to us. So we finalize how we do things with them. Okay, now... This is it, guys. We've come to the end of our lesson. So, we will see you next time. And bye-bye.